Hi guys, this is Omer from MMOHut.com and I'm the first impression gameplay video for Pirates of the Caribbean Online. 3D fancy MMORPG published by Disney. Now I'll spend about 5-10 minutes running around checking the game out, mixed with comments. If you guys want to play Pirates of the Caribbean Online or just learn more about it, do check it out full review on the link below. Now this is actually a pay to play game with an unlimited free trial. It's actually a very restriction free free trial, but I'll explain more of that when I get in game. Let's go ahead and create our pirate. I have basic member access right now. And the cool thing I should point out right away is that the game is not, you don't actually have to download it. Instead, you just go on Pirates, the Pirates of the Caribbean website and you can play it right on your web browser. I'm playing it on Chrome right now. Though you can't actually see my Chrome window. You because Fraps records it very nicely. You look how I feel. So we have an introduction screen yeah. over here. Pull yourself we got Jack Sparrow together. talking to us, telling us to pull ourselves together. And it transitions right into your character creation, not bad. We can zoom in on ourselves, but I'm gonna just click male, my shape. Let's go with this one. We have changed my height. Random features. You know what? Let's make ourselves big. Alright, we're gonna try the no let's make ourselves this one. Let's go. Let's go click next. And we can make our face options random for now. But it shows you the game has a decent amount of customization. Alright, we can click randomize again and click next. And there's actually more customization in this game than I thought. There's actually a lot going on over here. I'm going to randomize it and click next. Randomize that as well. Randomize our facial hair. Those clothes do not flash. Anything else? Click. We got some witty commentary from Jack Sparrow in the background. But I'm going to click next again and choose my name. I'm really not sure why the game wants me to choose from this little wheel over here. I got to be Nate Treasure Spinner Treasure Might. What? I'm going to type my own name, alright? I don't want the game to tell me anything. Just go with Remote Tag. Click finished. All right. Until your name is approved, you'll be given a temporary name. So apparently, the game individually approves selected names if you oh, want to choose your you. own. Truly. It's kind of annoying, but no, it's not that big of a deal. So we have a cutscene going on right now, and I'm pretty sure that's Jack Sparrow's voice in the movie as well. And this game was released in 2007, but it was meant to be released. It was supposed to coincide with the third movie for the Pirates of the Caribbean, or is that the second movie, Dead Man's Chest? I'm not even sure anymore. But we get to escape from prison with uh, Jack Sparrow. That's kind of a cool introduction. Leave the jail. He said like this works all the time. All you gotta do is kick the doors open. Come on. And this jail kind of sucks. I'm the only one in here. You can jump around with, and move with W, S, A, and D. You can also move with the arrow keys or the directional keys, whatever you want to call them. But all the pros move around with uh, W, S, A, and D. I'm a level one pirate right now. I'm gonna skip the tutorial for now. I'm a boss. I can handle this. Hint, grenades can be used to defeat large groups of enemies. Unlimited access only. That's true. I think, yeah, in order to use grenades, you need to be a paying member. A lot of the little things are actually available only to paying member members, but it's actually largely a free-to-play game with just certain parts of the game restricted for paying players only. It's not that big of a deal, though. So here we are in some town over here. Port Royal, or Port Royal. Defeat Navy soldiers and find the Black Pearl's release orders. Can we talk to this guy? Get along, mate. I'm busy. You had a little light over your head. Anyone that has a light over their head means they have a quest, but apparently not in this game. You got other players running around over here, and I'm actually always surprised when I see, um, it's interesting to see newbies running around in the newbie areas of the game, and it's a good sign too, because it kind of shows right away that people do play the game still, it's not a dead game. We got another chick over here, Rose Seafellow with something over her head, can we talk to her? Rumor has it the new weapons are cursed, use them with care. Alright, thanks for the useless information. So, the game is kind of tricking me, the little lights over their heads don't mean they have quests right away. Recover release orders from Naval Cadet on Port Royale. So let's go, f there's some cadets over here. Can I fight these guys? Let's walk up to them. Oh, they're firing. Uh, who goes there? Combat seems pretty simple. I'm just battling this guy right now and I'm just spamming my left click. So I, I own this, this dude over here, this cadet, by spamming my left click. Let's go fight these guys too. Combat seems pretty cool, but we experiment with it a little bit more. Let's do some random hacks. Hack and slash. I'm pretty sure it actually matters how you swing your mouse. Let's see, maybe I'm just going crazy, but we'll see. Level up, sword level 2. So I'm level 2 with my sword skills right now. I gain 8 HP points, sword skill unlock, and something else unlock. I love that there's a huge bag on the floor after you kill the guy. It's pretty random, but a lot of games do it. Graphically, the game is not that bad at all, especially for a game that runs right on the browser. There's really no download as well, because as you play, the game downloads more content. Let's fight this guy too. Nope, we can't kill Ensign Grimm. He's flipping his coin around. I think he's a cool guy. Bring up our map. Pretty useless map, it's not really helping me right now. But let's go towards the magical yellow arrow. Magical yellow arrows always tell you where you need to go for quests. 
I love how these guys are just standing in these woods randomly. So let's keep fighting this guy randomly. And if I just spam my left click, I do attacks automatically. It seems combat is action oriented. I was kind of hoping that if I swung my sword by doing different actions with my mouse, it would actually matter. But it doesn't seem like that's the case. I just kind of keep spamming my left click and I'm good to go. I can actually hold my left click too. No, never mind, I can't. I gotta keep spamming it to keep fighting. I wonder if I can control their attack, can I? Yeah, control attacks too. That's kind of cool. I don't know why I guess control would work, but it did. And that's CTRL. I just call it control. But I think everybody calls it CTRL control. I don't know. So we are going to this mansion over here. Can we kill these cadets over here too? I gotta grind these soldiers, you know? I love how this guy over there is not helping. There's another cadet right there. He's watching me sword his buddy to death. And he's not even helping. And this guy isn't even using his gun. He's trying to stab me with it. Though using a gun in close combat like that probably wouldn't work. Let's go loot this stuff and let's go inside over here. Another guy just walked out. Let's click shift to enter. Let's check out what's going on. We are entering the governor's mansion. Oh, so you're Jack we got another cutscene over here. Protégé, hmm? And I should actually point out though, I'm pretty sure all the voices are done by the same voice actors that were involved in the movie. So that's kind of cool, especially if you're interested in the whole Pirates of the Caribbean plotline and uh, the game's universe. I'm going to skip this for now, but I should point out though that it's really well done actually. I'm going to close this out for now. And much of the game is actually story driven. So you actually should pay attention to those if you actually want to play the game. And I really want to emphasize though, you can actually enjoy this game without paying as well. So you should really look at it as a... Uh, a free to play game with just some pretty stupid restrictions. It'd be more awesome if it was completely free to play, but it's alright. Let's loot this stuff over here and keep on trekking. We got this random guy sitting over here and we cut his head off. And unfortunately, it's not working. He's a level 4 cadet, the highest one I've seen so far, so let's kill him too. This is actually one of the only pirate themed MMOs out there. That's probably worth pointing out. I mean, you do have Pirates of the Burning Sea, which actually has much better graphics than this game. And you, I think you have Voyage Century, which is another sea-based game. But there really aren't that many games like this. So that's kind of cool. Graphics are not that great, but they're good for a browser, and they work really well. My character just looks funny while he runs. I need to kill one more, th one more dude to level up. But I need to go follow this magical arrow. Hopefully I don't get lost. Can I bring up this? Yeah, there we go. I got a nice little... I got a much nicer map of the area now. So that's, that's not even tab. Tab brings up your world map. You gotta click this for the good map. This place looks pretty dead though. There's no NPCs running around either. At least in Pirates of the Burning Sea, when you walk around, you see a lot of NPCs running around. It gives the game a more lively feel to it. Though I'm pretty sure this game is actually more popular than Pirates of the Burning Sea. I mean, I played Pirates of the Burning Sea a little bit longer after I finished my video last time, you know, when I did my video for it. It's a pretty cool game, but it was very dead and empty, and that kind of sucks. But we are going to Port Royal. Well, that's where we are now, but we're going to follow this arrow. There's another new player over here completing his tutorial. My notoriety is level 2 now, apparently. My sword skill is almost level 3. Talk to this guy, and he's going to give me a ship, apparently. He's a very generous guy, giving me a free ship. We can randomize our ship names as well. Kind of sucks again that you can't name your own ship, but Dizzy's trying to make this game appeal towards younger audiences and it doesn't want people to be trolls or offensive to, you know, kids. So, we got my dinghy to launch my ship. What is a dinghy? You are not a dinghy. So apparently I got a rowboat. And no, this is going to row out to my ship, which I got Gunwale Trident, my light sloop. Let's go ahead and launch that. Let's see how the graphics look on the high seas. Pirates of the Burning Sea looked really gorgeous in the high seas, so we'll see how this game looks. And again, if you're really into the whole Pirates of the... Not Pirates of the... Pirates of the Caribbean universe, definitely pay attention to the story. I got my ship over here, and graphics look a lot nicer over here. And it's cool that the game has immediate direction. It's not, it's not so open world that you can just do whatever you want right away. You have a main storyline which you have to keep following, which gives the game direction, and direction is always good. And I think these are other player ships over here. I'm not 100% sure. But they are blue on the map, so it makes me think they are player ships. I got one and two cannons over here. I'm kind of the only one on my ship, though, right now. How do these cannons fire? So I can fire my cannons without me ever using it. Let's go fight this guy over here. Skill not finished recharging. Come on. He's firing back at me. What a jerk. Uh, combat in the ocean feels a little bit awkward. But, again, it shouldn't be that fluid. It's supposed to be challenging. Let's go find some ship to kill over here. I have, I have direction again on the map. So you don't really get lost because the game tells you exactly where to go early on. It's pretty hard to aim, actually. I gotta fight this ship over here. I can shoot to my right side as well, but there's no ships over there. Can I ram this guy? You might be able to. 
Uh, the, I'm sure the game has a lot of quests as well. And I think you can actually get your own cruise later on. I'm just failing really hard right now. <laughs> fighting this guy. Shoot this guy. Yeah, I hit the Navy Ferret. Or Ferret. Ferret? Ferret? I just can't read. I don't know. Let's go ahead towards our quest location, though. Graphics out here look a lot nicer. And there's a world, you know, the world map as well when you leave towns. You can enter, enter individual towns like this. Combat over here seems a lot more like Pirates of the Burning Sea. You have the armor on different sides of your ship. I am sailing too close to shore. And otherwise, the interface looks pretty simple and pretty functional. I already have a full health. Well, guys, I am running out of time. This is actually a full-fledged MMORPG. I mean, don't let the whole Disney thing scare you away. It's an actual MMORPG with a lot of content. Though, some of it is restricted for uh, not paying players. Anyway, guys, if you guys do want to play Pirates of the Caribbean online or learn more about it, do check it out for review on the link below. Later, guys. Yes, I'm having fun.